Yes, you are desperate them we go students. Forget your details. Can you imagine? What more them plan? Visa subscribers, Jimmy Kenza safe anymore, my people. Official leader Mark Golden, privacy was bitch, my people. And guess who behind it, my people? Minister Daryl Vaz disclosed information from the Passport Citizenship and Immigration Agency, PICA, pertaining to Mark Golden. Jamaica is not a real place. God Almighty, I couldn't believe this. It was so my God. We know what going on. We fix up the whole nation. Free subscribers, this is a privacy we're talking about, my people. This all low and desperate our government is, my people. Go to the extreme level to bridge a man privacy, my people. Free subscribers, if the government can do this, operationally, the mark going. What about you and I, my people? Let me know in the comment section. Free subscribers, if I want to owe people money, miss it from their bank account, my people. So, the big question I want to ask Mr. Prime Minister Andrew Owens does this a political move to distract the people? Yo, Jamaicans, all over the world, talk the truth. The presentation that Comrade Mark Golden gave at this 85th conference, it's slap with. The speech was inspiring, it gave us hope. That is the sound of a Prime Minister that Jamaica need. It was well articulated, the conference was well put together, and I must say, Comrade Mark Bowling, big up every time. Jamaica need a leader like you. Jamaica need integrity. Jamaica need a leader who has clean hands and a pure heart. And Comrade Bowling, we are with you. Going with Bowling, time come and time come now. Every Jamaican get on board. It's time to get rid of this uncaring Jamaica Labour Party government. Time come. Power. Power to the people. People's National Party standing firm with Mark Bowling. Free subscribers, do you think Prime Minister Andrew Owens do an exceptional job for the Jamaican system of people? Let me know in the comment section. Free subscribers, do you think officially leader Mark Golden should be elected as the next Prime Minister of people? Let me know in the comment section. Minister Daryl Vaz disclosed information from the Passport Citizenship and Immigration Agency, PICA, pertaining to Mark Golden. Mr. Vaz revealed a breach of private interactions that Mr. Golden has had with the Passport Immigration and Citizenship Agency, PICA, information that Jamaicans rightfully expect to be maintained in strict confidence for every citizen. I'm calling on Dr. The Honorable Dana Morris Dixon who has the responsibility for information and digital transformation to address this serious breach promptly. This incident severely undermines the confidence of every Jamaican and raises significant concerns about the privacy and security of the data held by government agency, particularly in light of the recently enacted Data Protection Act and the impending rollout of the National Identification System needs. This is not the first instance of Mr. Vaz unlawfully accessing and broadcasting sensitive information for political leverage. Recall that in 2017, during the Southeast St. Mary by election, he revealed personal citizenship data of Dr. Shane Alexis on a political stage. Minister Vaz's actions, which represent a repeat violation of the confidentiality expected in handling personal citizenship and national identification information, necessitate immediate intervention from the highest levels of government. I am calling on the Prime Minister to clarify for Jamaicans the actions that he will take against Minister Vaz for his continuous disregard for the privacy and legal protections owed to every Jamaican citizen. The citizens of Jamaica deserve a clear and transparent explanation of how such sensitive information could even be accessed, much less disclosed by a government minister. More critically, we require assurances from Dr. Morris Dixon about the measures to be enacted to prevent future occurrences and to safeguard the personal data of every citizen. This breach does not merely undermine public trust in the government's ability to manage and protect private information. It profoundly shakes the confidence of our citizens in the NIDS process and our overall data management systems moving forward. In this data-driven age, every Jamaican is rightfully concerned tonight. 
They're questioning whether their personal information is secure with the government and whether any minister or their agents can access their private dealings with the state. Such a breach does not inspire confidence and could very well deter many Jamaicans from participating in NIDS. When you think that your personal health information, your education information, your information as it relates to national security and any infractions you may have with the state, your tax information could very well be accessed by a minister or a minister's agent and be used against you in your private or your professional life. That is not a confident position for any Jamaican tonight. And we need to hear from the minister promptly what response they will outline for the actions that her ministry will take to rectify this egregious privacy breach. Dr. Beta, General Secretary of the Business Just returning to Jamaica uh, from a short trip ago, and I realize that there's an issue that seems to be topical in the country. Now, we are a country that is governed by laws. We do have a constitution. So if I disagree with something, I cannot determine that somebody is obligated to follow my views unless, one, it is violating the current constitution. If it isn't violating the current constitution, then guess what? I'm in luck because we're currently reviewing the constitution. So what I ought to do is to lobby to get those provisions in the new constitution. So whether it is prime minister, any other politician, members of the media, members of civil society, they cannot determine that somebody has an obligation to do something that is one, not, current, not violating the current constitution, or two, they haven't seen it fit to put it in the new constitution. If it is so important and essential to governance in the country, why aren't we lobbying to put it in the new constitution? We are actually reviewing the constitution at this point in time. Let us have wider consultation, more participation from the public, and then whatever the public decides, then all of us as politicians would have to adhere to that because we believe in the rule of law. None of us is above the law. So my views are simple. If something is a problem, let us get it in the Constitution so that we can get a rule that governs it. What we cannot have is a Prime Minister who says, all right, if you're MP, you can be a dual citizen, but if you're going to be the one trying to take my job running against me, then you're not allowed to do so. That is almost like jailing your opponent. Recall that in 2007, Bruce Golden was the leader of the JLP, but by 2011, guess what? Andrew Hollis became Prime Minister. Nobody voted in 2007 thinking that Andrew Hollis would have been Prime Minister. It means that once you're a member of Parliament, there is a chance that you could become Prime Minister. So let us deal with this thing in accordance with the law, not emotions. Let us run the country with rules and laws. If you have a problem with something, put it in the new constitution. Let's go back to the table and get it in the constitution. God bless you. Have a good day. ruling and respect the constitutional rights of Jamaican people. Because the court rule and we expect that they would respect that. Yes. So that is what is causing majority of the problem. So that's why we, we come here today. And gentlemen, um, we won't accept this thing from the government. We won't accept. The government have a duty to the people yes. to serve. Yes. No. That's why we are highlight and I sensitize the public. Because if they continue to violate the rights, then we intend to withhold our service. We now will continue to work under them. In your main condition. Yes, you know, you target a group, them set up budget. Listen this well. The, go the government set 600 odd million budget that they intend to collect from traffic ticket. Then you create the conditions. You create the conditions to incriminate the operators. That's why every bus stop carry a 10,000 ticket fine. And the yellow painted sidewalk, six 
stone with those conditions, anywhere we stop, people, we are being charged. And then we learn from this ruling that the tickets there is illegal and violate the constitutional right. Why should we be paying and answering to tickets that the government yeah, has to be refunded MDR. right now? We now get that money. That is the biggest question. How are they asking? Because we are taxman and busman. Yeah. yeah. No, the reason, the reason why them get away with this kind of behavior is because them have some people who them use to manipulate the public mm -hmm. over the years. Cause this happened over the years, and these people is not representing us. We came here the other day, and we made the point. And we are, we are making the point again today. I'm going to make it again. That Mr. Newman, no, Mr. Finnegan no, does not represent. speak for yes. us. Yes, yes. No, no, and God. we don't expect the authorities to be going in meeting with yes. these people mm -hmm. on our behalf. Yes, yes. One of them even come in the media and say, him don't have no investment in the sector. So when we talk to him. And that's why these issues. It's just no being coming to the forefront. So you're not a part of the tax bill right now? No, no. We, we as it stands right now, we are already sent in the documentation and we are at the company office. But it was surfing, surfing for, for our association. We intend to represent ourselves. We don't intend for no other man who is conspiring against us for their benefit. We're not supposed to have a Prime Minister with a full master. One man can do so much fuckery and thinking we do get away with it. All kind of fuckery you do. You tell the police them go to the road go beat up people. All kind of rascal thing. You see from the people they start for you, you know. The whole I look at you, they start dead. Top dead. You understand? All of them like a fuck where they cut out. You understand? Brother, a full love of time for your bum back here, I'll take your pussy class and go down with your other brother and let the country make the country better off. Because you are going to pay a robbery or promote. Pay educated thief you are promote. You understand? So you are going, brother. We don't need your service, no bomb or ask that more here. Yes, bro, you come and rap poor people. You must get fucking alive. Yeah, water must reach you. And guess what I want? Yeah, water reach you, brother. Yeah, water reach. If people they don't want blood clots here no more. You understand? Take your pussy clot and go one side. Because all of you do make bad for this blood clot country. Yeah. Instead of you take me out of one hole, you are put it worse than when we are come from slavery days. You think we still want to live slavery days? And a slavery me see you bring come back in this blood clot. Yeah. You understand? You are no good bomb clot, Prime Minister. You understand? You make everybody afraid of you. I'm not even afraid to call your name. Because they call your name, everybody say you're going to kill them and do this and do that and all kind of blood clot. What kind of prime minister that you could have got? One kill out in people, they may not even want blood clot country. What kind of prime minister we can have so? Eh? You man afraid to even talk. For freedom of speech, people afraid to talk. Because they're scared you come kill them. You understand? And send man come kill them. That's how we blood clot country around, you know. But people they me glad the people didn't turn up on them foot, you know. Nobody no afraid again to bomb a clot. So then see what you are dealing with. You take with too much poor people, blood clot things. And that make you go lose election. You take with too much blood clot poor people things. You see if you may come in with a thief in style, you would be a good prime minister. But what you start the thief in. And when you start key from a little poor people, you must get bomb a clad for prayer alone must reach your brother.